So in this episode, we're gonna be talking about monetary arrangement or yung mga involved no money. Kung ikaw ay nagbabalak na kukuha ng mga bahay sa mga subdivision area and specifically yung loan mo ay mapupunta sa pag-ibig. And in addition to that, ano nga ba yung effect if ever na meron ka ng amortization, monthly amortization and then magbabayad ka double the amount from your monthly amortization at the same time meron kang babayaran separate for your principal. And other case also, kung ano yung magiging impact niya if ever na you will have a separate amount na magbabayad ka intended for principal. Say for example, meron kang 50,000 separate amount na ibabayad mo for principal. So ano yung effect sa duration ng payment mo? Kung gaano siya kaiksi na lang instead na say for example, meron kang 20 years period. So kung magbabayad ka on that way, magkano yung masave mong time at yung masave mong interest na charge sa yo. So kung gusto mong malaman ng mga detalye na yun, just stick around to this video because we will be discussing those in details. So by the way, I'm Junior Benz and welcome back sa ating YouTube channel. Thank you for subscribing my channel as well. So this channel creates video tutorial and construction related videos. Now kung yun yung mga hanap yung video, please feel free to consider subscribing my channel, tap that notification bell, para ma-update ka every time na meron tayong mga tutorial video and in this episode, meron tayong tutorial video coming up. By the way guys, if you're interested na kukuha ng bahay, meron po tayong available na subdivision na pwede niyong kukunan at legit po ang ating mga agent at broker dito. So watch this video. So ayun guys, if you are actually planning and considering of buying subdivision houses, pwede nyo pong kontakin yung nakalagay sa ating description box na contact details at mapabilis yung process nyo at matutulungan po kayo in your transaction. So first is dapat mong malaman kung magkano yung total contract price. So say for example, sa ating available na bahay ngayon, that would cost you 1,558,000. So, yun yung ating TCP, yung total contract price. Kadalasan kayo sa mga agents sa sabihin lang sa'yo na, Sir, ang ating TCP is ganito yung price. So, ang TCP is total contract price. At sa ating available na mga units, meron po tayong 1,558,000. Imagine, 1 million lang. So, pwede nyo i-consider kung kukuha talaga kayo ng bahay. So, we have option 1 and option 2 in this case. Ang ating down payment dito sa option 1 is only 10%. At ang ating down payment sa option 2 is 15% from the TCP or the total contract price. So, sa 10%, that would cost you 155800 And the same way, sa 15%, that would cost you 233000 700. At kadalasan or mostly sa ating mga developer, meron pong reservation fee. Make sure na pagsabihan kayo na meron kayong reservation fee, kadalasan hindi yan refundable yung reservation fee. Tapos, i-clarify nyo if that is deductible doon sa down payment mo. Ang ating reservation fee ay only 15,000 pesos. So, kung mayroon kang 15,000, pwede na kayong magpa-reserve, kumuha na kayo ng unit na available or i-PM nyo ako or i-PM nyo yung contact details na nakalagay ngayon sa description. That's only 15,000 pesos reservation fee. So, yung down payment natin sa 10% na 155,800 
ililess natin yung ating reservation fee kung magbabayad na tayo ng ating down payment. That would only cost you 140,800 ang total balance ng ating down payment. So ang tanong natin ngayon, Junior Benz, paano bayaran yung down payment? So ang ating option dito sa ating option 1, ay babayaran mo ang iyong down payment in the span of 1 year. Meron kang 12 months para bayaran yung remaining amount na 140,800. So, meron kang 12,983.33 ang babayaran mo month within 1 year. Therefore, pag matapos mo na yung down payment mo, pagbayad, yung iba, ongoing na rin yung construction ng unit mo. And then, di ba, meron tayong contract price na 1,558,000. So dahil tapos ka nang nagbayad sa down payment mo, i-deduct natin 'yun sa ating TCP. That will come up into 1,402,200. So dahil naka-promo tayo ngayon, may discount kayo na 50,000 pesos. So ililess pa 'yun doon sa ating balance. Itong balance na 'to ay tatawagin na nating loanable amount. Dahil ito na yung ating i-apply sa banko or i-apply natin sa pag-ibig yung amount na balance. So ang kagandahan dito ngayon ay nakales ka pa ng 50,000 kung mag-avail ka kaagad. Dahil baka mag-change sila ng mga prices or mawala na yung discount mo na 50,000. Sayang din yun, 50,000. Maliless mo supposedly doon sa loanable amount mo. So again, from the TCP or the total contract price minus the down payment na binayaran mo, ang down payment mo is including na yung reservation fee dahil diba, din dinidak na natin. So, from total contract price minus the down payment at kung maka-avail ka pa doon sa 50,000 pesos na discount, promo discount, so ililess pa natin yung 50,000 pesos and then that's you, the remaining amount, that's your loanable amount. And that amount, yun ang i-apply natin for loan natin sa pag-ibig. So in this case, ating first option, ang ating balance na lang is 1,352,200. Yun po yung amount na ating apply sa pag-ibig. And then you have the options to pay for 5 years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, 25 years, and a maximum of 30 years. So ngayon sabihin mong, okay, babayaran ko siya within 20 years para hindi ako ma-pressure. So so by the way guys, if you're not yet subscribing my channel, please do consider subscribing my channel. Tap that notification bell para ma-update ka every time na meron tayong bagong upload just like this video. So let's continue our discussion. So ngayon, titingnan natin yung magiging month amortization mo if ever na makaselect ka ng certain duration. So this is just an example sa ating monthly amortization. So assuming also na meron tayong interest rates ating pag-ibig loan na 6.5%. So for example, gusto mo lang ng 5 years to pay at afford mo naman yung 26,457. So that's your monthly amortization kung 5 years yung kukunin mo. Kung mag 10 years ka, meron ka lang 15,353. At kung mag-15 years ka, meron kang 11,779. At kung mag-20 years ka, 10,081. At kung mag-25 years ka, you'll have 9,130. At kung mag-30 years ka, meron kang 8,546. So yun yung magiging monthly amortization mo. At yung example ngayon ay calculate natin kung gusto mo ng 20 years to pay yung loan mo. So meron kang 10,081 pesos monthly. Ngayon, kung magbabayad ka ng the same amount until sa 20 years, so 20 years kang magbabayad ng 10,081. Pero, kung magbabayad ka ng separate the same amount, 10,081, top up doon sa monthly amortization mo, so ilang taon mo na lang siyang babayaran. Aabot ka ng 85 months, you will get only 7 years instead na mag 20 years yung babayaran mo. See, gaano kabilis matapos yung loan mo sa pag-ibig kung magbabayad double the amount which is top up dun sa monthly amortization mo. So magbabayad ka rin ng principal. So from 20 years, baka discount ka ng 13 years of payment sa loan mo. Pero halimbawa, kung gusto mo lang magbayad ng normal na monthly amortization, tapos pagdating ng December, marami kang bonus, marami kang matatanggap na pera. So sabihin na lang natin meron kang available na 100,000 on December yearly. 
So, yearly kang magbabayad ng 100,000 kasi nakakaipon ka naman, di ba? So, 100,000. First, first year, nag-ano ka ng 100,000. Second year, magbabayad ka naman ng 100,000. Third year, magbabayad ka naman ng 100,000. Fourth year, 100,000. Fifth year, sixth year, seventh year, eighth year. So, magiging duration mo is 106. 106 months divided by 12. So, 8 years. 8 years ka lang magbabayad ng ganong scheme mo. So, meron kang 106 months para bayaran mo yung housing loan mo na instead of 20 years. So, nakailang 100,000 ka? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, naka 7 years kang nagbayad ng 100,000 at the same time yung monthly amortization mo. So, hindi ka na magbabayad sa 8 year. So, ganun yung magiging savings mo sa duration or time na babayaran mo sa iyong loan. So, ganun lang din yung magiging option nyo if ever na mag-avail kayo yung sa ating option number 2 which is 15%. Medyo maless ka sa 15% dahil ang magiging loanable amount mo is only 1,274,300. So, expect na mas lesser yung magiging monthly amortization mo if ever na mag-avail ka ng 20 years to pay yung housing loan mo. So, I hope na you learned something out from this video. At kung meron kayong gustong i-discuss natin in the next vlog, please use the comment section para meron akong idea kung ano yung mga gusto nyong i-discuss natin sa aking channel. So, I guess that's it for this vlog. And I hope na you learned something out sa video na to. And if may na-learn kayo, please to consider subscribing my channel. I-tap nyo na rin yung notification bell para ma-update kayo every time na meron tayong bagong upload just like this video. So, I guess that's it for this vlog. Have a great day and God bless. Guys, I would like also to emphasize sa aking vlog na if ever meron pa akong mga discussions na hindi talaga ma- totally covered into one vlog. Hinahati-hati ko po yan into episodes like episode 1 and episode 2 and episode 3. Sometimes hindi ko ma-anticipate na uh, hahatiin ko yung video. So, ang ginagawa ko is talagang nilalagay ko sa description or sa title na meron pang karugtong sa video na to. So, if that's the case, please, para fully maintindihan nyo yung aking vlog, pwede nyo panoorin yung mga episode 1 and episode 2. The same kasi yung nangyari sa aking survey na vlog wherein yung mga prices is nandun na sa episode 3. Kasi dinidiscuss ko yung mga type of survey na dapat mong ipagawa. Kasi, kay, kasi kung idiretso ko lang ganito yung prices niya, hindi nyo maintindihan na ano bang yung klase ng survey na ipapagawa namin. So, kadahil yung iba na-observe ko, nagtatanong agad sila on the first episode. So, I hope na panoorin nyo yung buong series para maintindihan nyo at makuha nyo yung mga information na gusto nyo makuha sa aking vlog. So, enjoy watching my vlog. Thank you. Bye.